What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Jay Breezy. Shoot my shot, it's easy now. Look, I know, I know, I know. I'm from Nashville. I've been a Titans fan my whole life. I know I should be real for New Orleans because Houston's the division rival. Bro, it's so hard to root against CJ Stroud. I don't even want to sound like I'm, I'm D riding, bro. <laughs> I don't want to sound like a D rider, like I'm glazing, whatever term you want to say is. But, bro, how can you root against him, bro? Look at these plays. How can you root against CJ Stroud? And you know I'm an Ohio State guy. I've been an Ohio State guy since before I was a guy. Well, I've always been a guy. But since before I was a man, when I was a kid, when I was in fifth grade, that's when I first became an Ohio State fan. And I've been an Ohio State fan ever since. I think I told y'all the story Um, week one or week two of the Texan season this year. I don't feel like telling it again respectfully. Third and 14, if you didn't catch it the last time, Hopefully you catch it the next time, or you can go back to the last time. It's still up on the channel. I don't delete videos. Um, you're not making a 52 yarder. You're not Will Lutz. <laughs> you're not Will Lutz. You're not making no 52 yarder. I could have told you that. They didn't have me on the coaching staff. I could have been a special teams coach, man. Stop playing with me. And you just set up CJ Stroud. He'll probably get a touchdown now. He really. That's the first pick of his career too. I forgot about that. And he got it right back. And he got it right back in blood. And he got it right back in blood. It shouldn't even count. It shouldn't even count, really. Shouldn't even count as an interception, really, since he got it right back. Shout out Nico Collins. I wonder if he gets two points for that on fantasy football. Probably not, but it would be cool if he did. Do I have anybody on my fantasy team playing? I got Nico Collins, but he's on the bench. I don't think I have anybody for New Orleans. That's I'm not gonna lie. Having a New Orleans say on your fantasy team is just bad. It's just bad. It's just bad management, bro. <laughs> it's just bad swag. Like, bro, you can't depend on New Orleans to have any type of consistency fantasy point wise. Easy. Who's that? Noah Brown. Just get the ball to Damon Pierce. I got Damon Pierce on my fantasy team, but he's on the bench. Dalton. Dalton. I ain't never seen you act like this before, Dalton. You over here in Moss and people throwing up finger rolls like you dare uh, Dr. J from back in the day? And you cut Tyron Smith off the line? Stop. That's a great throw. I don't know why he's hating. That's, that's a great throw. Bro, what? Alvin Kamara still got some gas in the tank. Hey, I'm not against the Alvin Kamara, Tyron Matthew, and Slam Boy Michael Thomas turning up one time. I'm not against it, man. Have some nostalgia. Let me get a little nostalgic, bro. The Saints really used to be that team. The Saints should have another Super Bowl, bro. I feel bad for them. I thought somebody told me. Somebody in the comments told me 22 is a special teams dude. I guess they just have them on offense, too. You know how um, the Saints do. They got to take some help playing five positions out there. They act like they can't afford. They act like they can't afford. <laughs> They act like they making budget cuts. <laughs> you got to play offense, defense, and special teams. Watch Travis Hunter get drafted to New Orleans. Watch it. What? New Orleans is 3-2? and two? They do not feel like a 3-2 and two football team. The whole NFL feels like mediocre. Every team in the NFL feels mediocre except for like three. Except for like the Eagles, 49ers, the Chiefs, and maybe the Dolphins. Every team is just like mediocre, bro. Dolphins aren't mediocre now, but I feel like they're gonna fall off. Two is gonna get hurt. Something bad is gonna happen to the Dolphins. I feel I just feel it in my bones, bro. I don't know. But outside of those four teams, I feel like everybody else in the league is just mediocre, below average. Maybe the Chargers. The Chargers are right. Chargers love above average. Those five teams, everybody else mediocre. Equally mediocre too. It's crazy. Third and six. Come on, Houston. Is Tank Dell playing? Nah, Tank Dell's out. He's on my fantasy team, but he's not playing. I wish Tank Dell was playing. Tank Dell is must see TV. That Tank Dell, CJ Stroud connection, connection is must see. Let's go, Nico Collins. Easy first down. Let's go. Keep it pushing. Keep it pushing. Let me see CJ Stroud in that pocket. Let me see that Golden Boy in that pocket. Who's that? Devil Singletary. Devin. 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 Come on, Devin. I ain't never seen you like this before. I never seen you act like this before, Devin. I said it. I just said that three times in one video. I don't think I've said that. I don't think I've said that once in my entire life. I ain't never seen you act like this before. And I just said it three times in one video. Look at Damon Pierce. Look at Damon Pierce. That boy got that dog in the roof. 
Third and goal, Nico Collins back in the end zone. Nico Collins back in the end Never mind. Never mind. Robert Woods. <laughs> that boy CJ chopping up the defense. That boy CJ chopping up the defense. Easy pick. Look at those. Look at those. Those are quarterback reads. Tight throws. I mean, tight windows. Good throws. Quarterback reads, man. Quarterback reads. I just, oh my God. The Titans need a quarterback. Titans need a quarterback for the future, bro, because we have no quarterback. Meanwhile, the Colts probably got their guy for the future in Anthony Richardson. And the Texans definitely got a star in C.J. Stroud. Anthony Richardson might be a star, too. But I know C.J. Stroud is definitely a star. Like, no if ands, or but no. C.J. Stroud, I've seen enough. Five games, no interceptions. He got the Houston Texans two wins. Didn't they only win two games all the last season? He got them two wins already. Two out of five. He about to get them three and three. He might take this team to the playoffs. Especially with seven teams being in the playoffs now. Yeah, he'll probably take this team to the playoffs. And where he's in a weak division too. He could win the AFC South as a rookie. That would be crazy. I'm not gonna lie, if he won the AFC South as a rookie, that'd probably be the best rookie quarterback season since uh, Dak, right? Since Dak Prescott in 2016. I don't even think Dak, Dak definitely wasn't as talented as CJ is right now. Dak just had his Zeke. Zeke was really better than Dak, but Dak was the quarterback, so he got the Rookie of the Year award, right? I'm pretty sure. I don't even think Zeke got Rookie of the Year. Even though Zeke, Zeke, especially looking back on it, Zeke clearly carried him. I mean, even in the moment, I was thinking Zeke is carrying. But looking back on it, Zeke is clearly carrying. They trying to get Dak out of Dallas. Man, what? Probably the best rookie quarterback season since RG3 in 2012. Oh! Oh, if he could have made that throw. Oh, my Lord. CJ, you a mad scientist, boy. You a mad scientist, boy. Because if you would have made that throw, I would have lost it. I promise you I would have lost it. I would have lost it. I would have lost it so much, I would have been looking for it. <laughs> I would have lost it like I had something to look for, bro. I promise y'all would have lost it. Pressure. Oh, they got slant boy on another slant. Surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise. Derek Carr. I'm not gonna lie, I'm happy to see Derek Carr in a good system like New Orleans, though. I'm happy he didn't have it. He didn't have to go to another toxic organization. I mean the Raiders don't even look that bad now. But I remember when Derek Carr got drafted to the Raiders. They were not good. They were coming off the Terrell Pryor stuff. And when Derek Carr was kind of in his prime with the Raiders, they traded Khalil Mack and Amari Cooper. Like, I mean, both of them asked for trades, I'm pretty sure. But Derek Carr just had to go through it. I'm happy he got to be on a good team. He could be in a franchise like Carolina right now. <laughs> I'm happy he's on a well-run franchise, a franchise that went to, like, the NFC Championship game three years in a row. I feel bad for them, bro. Like, I, I'm not going to lie. I'm happy the Eagles got one of those Super Bowls, but I feel bad for New Orleans, like, straight up. They made the playoffs, like, 10 years in a row, too. They had the Jimmy Graham years, the Marcus Colston years, the Brandon Cook years, the old Drew Brees, Slant Boy, Mike Thomas years, the Alvin Kamara years. And I know some of those years overlap. I'm not stupid. I'm not stupid. But it's just crazy, bro. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like Minneapolis Miracle was their year. I feel like the Minneapolis Miracle was their year. I feel like when they lost to the Bucks, that was their year to at least make it to the Super Bowl. They and especially with Mahomes, two offensive tackles out, they might have won. But the year they lost to the Bucks, Jared Cook fumbled like three times. That was that was their year. Minneapolis Miracle, actually, that probably wasn't their year. They probably were still going to get smoked by the Eagles. The Eagles were just so much better than everybody else that year. But I'm not going to lie. The Nicole Roby, the Nicole Roby Coleman pass interference that wasn't called that low-key could have been their year. It's hard to call it because the Rams still lost in the Super Bowl. I think the Saints, I'm not going to lie. I think the Saints win that Super Bowl, though. I think the Saints beat Brady in that Super Bowl. But I don't know. Anyway, I'm over here talking about what ifs and what was their years. Fourth quarter, eight minutes left. He throwing deep bombs? He throwing deep bombs? Oh, pick him. <laughs> Rashid Shaheed. That sounds like a Madden. That sounds like a Madden created player name. That sounds like a Madden my career name. 
Fourth and four, four minutes left. What's going on? Houston get the stop. Houston get the stop. Houston get the oh yeah. I don't even know why you threw that. That's not Alvin Kamara in 2017, buddy. <laughs> That's not 2017 Kamara, buddy. You should oh my gosh. She just threw it behind the sticks by like two yards. No flag. Ah we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. <laughs> Was that fair? I don't even know. Roughing the passer. Roughing the passer and pass interference. I thought they were going to be offsetting penalties. I thought it was going to be holding and pass interference. Roughing the passer and pass interference is crazy. Two minutes 53. If CJ gets him out of here right now, he's that guy. I mean, he's already that guy, to be honest. Um, Derek, this is your last chance. Lead this drive, bro. I kind of, I I'm not going to lie. I kind of talked myself into room for the Saints. They're not going to be able to get a Super Bowl. Hopefully, they can at least get a win. Even though deep down in my heart, I know that CJ Stroud is not going to lose this. I don't know why. I just feel like the Texans not losing this. I don't know. I actually really don't know what's going to happen. Half of me feels like the, the Saints can come back and win. Half of me feels like the Texans going to lock up. Fourth and ten. Oh, yeah, it's over. They're not getting this, right? And he got hit as he threw. Pick. Yep, it's over. It's over. Get him out of here, coach. Get him out of here, coach. Get him out of here. I told you, bro. I told you, bro. I told you, bro. CJ Stroud got those boys 500, three and three. Shout out. That's a black head coach? I thought there was no black head coaches in the league outside of Mike Tomlin. Shout out that black head coach, too, taking advantage of his opportunity. I know a lot of African Americans been trying to get jobs and happy he got one. He going crazy with his job. He proven he gonna get somebody else the job. <laughs> One, two, three. I mean, my bad. Like, comment, subscribe. So you guys thought about this number, I'm out. Peace, stay breezy.